Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. On this episode, we are going to show you what we carry in our kitchen case. It is one of the four Pelican cases that we carry. Let's get started. So what we have here is the case that we call our kitchen case. It is a Pelican 1650 case with a divider system. And the beauty about these cases is you can bring them into your home and it's convenient to have them near your kitchen or pantry and to restock and things like that, clean things up. If you haven't noticed, it's probably time to really mention this. It's easy to put things away and be very organized if they have a home. If you see what we've been doing across the whole Jeep, it should be obvious how we just think everything needs a home. And if it does, it can pack away, whether you're storing in the winter or packing up ready to go on a trip, the middle of a trip or the end of the trip, these things are in the same place. It's just a really good system to learn to do. So we're going to start with the items in the lid organizer. And uh, just so you know, we will include the links down in the description below for uh, most of the main important items that we're going to show you here today. So up in this little corner here, we carry two Nalgene bottles. One has dish soap and it's actually environmentally friendly dish soap and we have some bleach because sometimes he might be using water that is questionable so we add one or two drops of bleach to it yeah just or, to be safe or just because you want to actually make sure your dishes are clean right disinfect uh, disinfect yeah yeah and we have a pot scrubber these nalgene containers are great they really are leak proof so you might be wondering well why do we carry it in a bag and the baggie is mostly for the scrubby because you never get all the moisture out of your scrubby when you're done using it. So we like to just put it in a bag so it doesn't make a mess everywhere. Yep. So. And if it gets a leak or whatever, we just change it. Right below we carry disposable dishcloths. The reason I like these, other than that they're disposable, they ring out very well, which is good. You can hang them on a pole or drape them over the edge of a table and they will dry in minutes. I love them that way. And when they're soiled, throw it out, grab a new one. Below, we simply carry some bag clips, chip bag clips, cracker bag clips. Uh, just they're handy items to have because you never know what you might need to close up different sizes. Yeah, they really are handy. Keep the pretzels fresh. And as you can see, there's still some space left in that pouch there, so you could certainly add what, what you need to, or we could throw something extra in there. In normal fashion, this lid organizer would hold file folders in this pouch right here. Yeah. But we actually carry collapsible wash basins. Carry two of them. They just unfold like this. These are five years old and they just, they don't leak. They're really good that way. And they actually get a little easier to fold up with uh, usage. It's the plastic softens up a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they're great. We use one as a wash basin and one as a rinse basin. Yep. You can wash clothes in it. Nicole's hair. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically that's it. Uh, uh, and dishes. But we carry a carabiner on the front here, or either either side, so we can air dry them if we have to, and then put them away. So, just that way we're not putting moisture in the tank or the case. So they do fold up uh, relatively quickly, actually, and uh, compact. There we are. Right below, we carry a couple kitchen thermometers. One is uh, a digital thermometer and the other is a manual thermometer, just in case that one craps out. Why, the, why the felt pen? Well, you never know what you need to mark. If you're storing stuff in the fridge or you just simply need to write on something, you have something handy. Beside it, we have a very well-used pot holder. 
<laughs> it's not in the best of shape. We you think we could buy another one, maybe? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe. Hello, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's its purpose. And beside it, uh, a couple drink cozies, which Mark uses a little bit more than I do. I, use, I don't know why we have two extra in here, because I have one in each chair. This is a filter for our coffee maker. So Just, just an, ex spare. an extra one. Yep. You don't want to have a, a coffee emergency. Right below in this slimline pocket here, we carry the handles, two of them, for our pot set. A barbecue lighter or a stove lighter. Mm -hmm. They fit nicely in there, actually. We kind of have them tucked everywhere. Yeah, you hate to be looking for a lighter when you need a lighter. So we carry them in multiple places, as yeah. you're going to see. And a spare, too. This is sort of just a miscellaneous pocket. We have an eyedropper here for the bleach, if we need it. A couple extra caps for the propane canisters. Because mm -hmm. we've gone to a single propane system. So we use the little uh, propane bottles. They're disposable, but you can buy them everywhere. And we've found that in a lot of locations, they can't always fill propane. Those little bottles, though, are almost always on the shelf in hardware stores and grocery stores, even in small gas stations. So we keep a couple extra caps just because we carry them on the trash as well as inside. So we just want to make sure that we've always got a handful here in case we lose one. Right beside it, we just have some clothing detergent in case we do want to wash a few items while we are on the road. Beside it, we have some oh, laundry clips or what do they call these? Uh, Clothes clip for a clothesline. Oh, yeah. We carry a rope in the trasheroo. It's about 30 feet long. We usually use it to pull up the trasheroo up in a tree in a bear country, but it doubles well as a clothesline. So we just use these on it. And you can't even use them on the awning. And we always carry hand sanitizer. We have these cute little containers, squeezable containers, hanging in all kinds of places because your hands get dirty, you don't have a sink with running water to run to all the time, so they are great to have. So we just keep one hanging here in case we need it. Right above we have large garbage bags, below we have smaller garbage bags, and there is a purpose for both. The small garbage bags we use uh, on a daily basis, and they're great to stuff in the trash room because they're small. So the smaller bags you can compact more in, and they're easier to lift in and out of the trash -a um, as opposed to a one big bag of garbage. It gets really hard to stuff that in the trash -a and pull it out when you need to dispose of it. Also, when you're stopping at gas stations... Convenience stores, grocery and such, stores... And you need to dispose of your garbage... McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. You're not dumping huge bags of garbage into their receptacles that fill them up. Uh, a and W. <laughs> you are simply grabbing a couple bags out of your trash route and putting them in their uh, garbage, Walmart. <laughs> garbage receptacles. So you're just being a little bit more courteous to, to those places. For sure. And, and it's quicker to move because you don't, you're not, you don't draw a lot of attention to yourself with <laughs> one big bag trying to stuff it in a very small hole. I think these would even go to uh, uh, Subway as well. I think we did in those as well. <laughs> but the point is, is uh, you know, if Nicole takes one and I do, we're going in for groceries, two are gone. Then we go to get some uh, gas, there's two more. So it, it just, all of a sudden, it, it really makes it easy to dispose of your garbage without really putting a burden on anybody. That's right. And it's very important because sometimes you don't come across a large dumpster for garbage for a very long time. But sometimes there's really, really messy campsites and people don't always pick up their own garbage. That's where this comes in because we can strap them down, we can throw it in the back. We do what we have to do where we can to haul the stuff away. So always leave the campsite in better condition than you found it. Always. So the de bottom divider system is really quite nice because you can customize the shape and size of your compartments. Right along the edge here of the case that's actually outside of the divider system, we carry just a few 
uh, thinner items that fit nicely down in there, and one being uh, windbreakers for our one pod burners. And they're just a slim stainless steel. They just set up around the stove. So, and they just fold up real quick and easy. Or actually they might be aluminum. They are aluminum yeah. actually. There you go. Yeah, and they fold down into We carry this, two of them, right? Yep. Into yeah. this nice little handy pouch. And don't forget, uh, we will have the links for the, all the main items in this case, the ones that are still available, of course, uh, in the description. So in case you missed something, no need to worry. So there's one there, and as you can see, there's the second one. And right beside it is our well-used toaster. And how it works is you simply unclip the little bars and it's a bit of a Rubik's Cube. But there's these little grooves right in here, like so. And you put your bread slices or your bagel like this and it warms from the inside out and it uh, toasts quite nicely actually. So you could, you could use it on the barbecue, you can use it on single burners or double burners. It really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, It'll help a little bit if there's a heavy wind. Of course, it's up and it's kind of cooling the outside. But if you use the, um, the wind windshields, guards. yeah, that really makes all the difference in the world. And uh, it's really quite inexpensive. Yeah, it was the best like have. eight bucks we ever spent. Yeah, so to pack it up, the bars just simply fold down like so. And if you just give it a little push. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. This, this one can be messy. <laughs> Sure, now that you say that, I won't be able to <laughs> get it. <laughs> it's like nice. trying to get a, something you just bought back in the styrofoam <laughs> and back in the box to tend to take it back because it doesn't work. It never goes back the same way. There we there, go. Well, look at you. You just kind of got to bend them down into each other. Mm -hmm. There you go. Show off. <laughs> In this compartment, we carry a small kettle. It's a GSI kettle, and it again is uh, well used. It uh, holds one liter, which is the perfect amount for our French press coffee maker here, but we'll get to that in a minute. Next to it, oh, some miscellaneous items, uh, one being a can opener. The uh, propane hose for our one burner stove, which we'll get to, and a set of three of these wonderful collapsible bowls. I love them. They're lightweight, durable, they collapse into nothing, they each come with a lid. As you can see here, they're great. You can mix up a can of tuna, a bit of a salad. Leftovers from supper. Put them in the fridge and you're good to go. They're really uh, one of my favorite items, actually. And this one is... Leftovers. Uh, Mine, too. <laughs> this is quite big, actually. Yeah. We don't find really a need for bigger than that, have we ever, really? No. Not with the two of us. No. Not for probably. Yeah. We have a... Um, collapsible colander that we don't use. Correct, because if you are making pasta or something that needs to be drained, you can generally do that with a lid. Yeah. Right next door is our insulated French press coffee maker. It is truly one of our favorite items and uh, we definitely could not live without this. I can't say enough good about it. So the top just simply pops out like that and as you can see it's got its mesh filter system for French press style. It's insulated. It holds a liter, which fills our travel mugs perfectly. We yep. each get a big travel mug of coffee mm -hmm. per one of these. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. It's easy to clean. Back here, we have some GSI bowls. 
and it came as a set. We have the plates as well, which we'll get to. So they're cereal bowls, soup bowls, salad bowls. We carry four of them. Whatever you need a bowl for. And again, they also come with lids, and they're lightweight as well. Yeah. I can't say that we use them a ton, but uh, when you need them, you need them. Oh, cereal for breakfast, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. We always carry some plastic cutlery with us. Yep. If you're just stopping to, let's say, have a sandwich or you're only having a bagel for breakfast in the morning, you don't need to dirty up much of anything. So it's good to just grab a fork, butter your toast or your bagel, and you have no dirty dishes. And again, it's can't stress enough how important it is to keep your hands clean. Tables, I'm, services, yeah. yeah. I'm Top of the pelican cases. Mm -hmm. I'm fairly picky about that. So we do use quite a few of these wet ones. We carry one uh, generally in here and uh, in other places, as yeah. you will see as time goes. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, usually there's three floating around in different places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's part of being convenient. Uh, right here we have a single burner propane stove. And this little piece just nestles in the back like so when you're stowing it. Yep. And then it just snaps on. Just twists on, yeah. On the top like so. Right, and that's what the hose is for. Yeah, and the hose is here again. We now carry two of these. We used to use a Primus stove, and it was an excellent stove, really good, and there's many two-burner systems that are awesome. We switched when we started to realize just efficiently packing up camp at night. We keep one, which we hardly ever use, in the larger pelican case, but we keep one in here because there's something really important that happens in the morning, and it's coffee. So, and it tucks away in here like it just belongs. And it was the, one of the best things we did is to go to single burners. They use the same propane system, and we've been very diligent about working towards keeping one propane system that works for everything. We don't regret doing that at all. Just to add on to what Mark is saying, we don't always pull out the big case which, no. uh, so that way we always have one of these. We might pack up the big case the night before, so we, we don't have do. to worry about it. Yeah, if we're going to leave, yeah, for sure. It goes in right after supper. You need a bowl for the soup, you also need that. Now I realize the drawer system might be um, uh, more convenient in a quick sense, but not by much, and in many ways it's far less organized. You really can't do this effectively in a drawer system. Plus, the other big thing that, if you haven't noticed, it's all really tight. This makes no noise in the Jeep. None. You do not hear it. Anything in here rattling or jumbling or doing whatever. No, it's very quiet. Yeah, I was thinking you forgot that. <laughs> and I can't live without this. <laughs> here we go. My okay. wine glass. If you haven't watched the first video we ever did, it called the wife acceptance factor. Here it is, right here. This is the number one thing. That's right. You can never have too much wine. They're GSI again. Plastic. Plastic. I broke one. I'm glad I didn't break the other that same day. They snap into place and they just go like this. And they have a nice little home right in there. Yeah, everything needs a home. Yep. Yep. Another favorite item of mine. Yeah. Yep. I thought you forgot them. I was going to. Oh, no, no, no. Nope. Here we carry just some extra GSI mugs. Uh, they, with the insulated outer, they work as a coffee mug. Mm -hmm. It also has cup a there, cup. Who knows what inside. you use it for? But yeah. So milk, juice. And there's two of them. Uh, you know, if you ever want to give somebody a coffee, you can can do that, I guess. We hope you've enjoyed the video today. We're going to cover the remainder of the items in our kitchen case in a second video. And this would be a great time to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps us grow. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching.